Somebody say, God wants to give us, God wants to give us through his word, through his word knowledge, knowledge and wisdom. And wisdom. Say it again. God wants to give us, God wants to give us through His Word, through His Word, knowledge, knowledge and, wisdom. and wisdom. That's why this was a message in two parts. I gave you part one and two: knowledge and wisdom. Second Peter three eighteen. Just write them. You might not have a chance to go through all of them. Second Peter three eighteen says, "But grow in grace and knowledge." Of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes. Somebody say, Grow in grace, grow in grace and, knowledge and knowledge of our Lord, of our Lord and, Savior, and Savior Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. That's 2 Peter 3 18. I'm going to give you eight scriptures today to just, just define and just seal what I said. Luke 24 45 says, and he opened their understanding that they may understand and comprehend the scriptures. Yes. Somebody said, God, God, God help me, help me. To, understand to understand your word. Your word. And he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures. That's Luke 24 and 45. John 14 and 26. John 14 and 26 says, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, or it is known as the whole of the Spirit. Okay. The Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you how many things? All things and bring to your remembrance all things that I have said to you. The Holy Spirit will teach you. See, this is this is this is why I don't. I thank God for speaking in tongues because I, I love speaking in tongues. I love to speak in tongues as the Holy Spirit gives utterance when it does. Uh, but more than that, I love the fact that the Holy Spirit is a teacher. Yes, that's what my grandma used to say. Yes. Said, uh, God got, she used to. Matter of fact, Bishop Donnie Graves wrote a song after her testimony. And her testimony used to be, saints, I'm saved, sanctified, and filled with the blessed Holy Ghost. And I thank God when I got the Holy Ghost, I didn't get a dummy. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she used to say, this Holy Ghost talks to me. Yes. Yes. And he wrote that song, I'm saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, and fire baptized. I got the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost got me. That used to be my grandma's testimony. Mm -hmm. Saints, I got the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Ghost got me. And when I got the Holy Ghost, I didn't get a dummy. Yeah. The Holy Ghost talks. That's why the Word of God says, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I have told you. This is why I stress the Word of God, that, that we consume the Word of God so that when we need the Word of God, the Holy Spirit can bring back to our remembrance what we have remembered. Yes. Because the Holy Spirit can't bring something back to you that you never knew. Right. That's right. Am I right about it? That's yes. Right. The Holy Spirit will enlighten you, but the Word of God has to be in you in order for the Holy Spirit to cause it to cause you to remember yes. the thing that you have committed or that you know. Yes. John, that's John 14, 26. Next uh, scripture I want to give you is John 16 and 13 says, However, when he, the Spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. Yes. When the Spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth. That's John 16 and 13. How many spirit and people know that the Holy Spirit has come? Yes. Yes. Amen. Somebody said, the comforter has come. Matter of fact, we know it even historically. Acts 2, we talk about it, uh, we read about it, we reinforce it uh, in our uh, affirmation of faith. When we talk about the Holy Spirit, we know that the Holy Spirit is already present. Matter of fact, the Holy yes. Spirit was already present in the beginning, but after it came, it came in its fullness and depth. It came 
giving us the whole of the Spirit. Yes, yes. Somebody said the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Is the Spirit of Truth. It is the Spirit of Truth. That's why you don't need to understand uh, uh, everybody else and everything else. You need the Holy Spirit to help you to know that what you read is the truth. Yes. I love to read. Yes, yes. I love to read stuff other than the Bible. Mm -hmm. My Kindle is full of stuff. Mm -hmm. I read everything from uh, the death of Ivan Illich written by a uh, 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 Russian uh, Tolstoy. I, I love uh, reading stuff like that. I, I, I read history. I read uh, 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 things that are written uh, on uh, uh, different people. I love reading anything. But I always love it when the truth, the Holy Spirit, reveals to me that this is what you this that you read is the truth. Amen. Amen. Somebody said the truth. The truth. That's why we need the Holy Spirit to tell us the truth about ourselves. All right. That's right. That's why, that's why I don't spend as much time learning about other people and never spend any time learning about me. Right. That's, that's right. good. That's part of my prayer this morning. In the, in the hours of the morning when I was up, God, help me to know me. Yes. I don't want to spend all my time getting to know my wife. That's a good thing. That's a wonderful thing. I don't want to spend time knowing more about uh, uh, Warren Buffett and, and Bill Gates and, and all of these people than I know about myself. Yes. Somebody said, we need God to show us the truth about us. John 8, 31 through 32 says, Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, yes. and the truth shall make you free. Tell somebody, we got to abide in God's word. We can't just cast it off. It can't just be for 21 days. That's right. Oh, I didn't get a shot on that one. All of this 21 days is supposed to do is give you a kickstart. All right. Somebody said, but we got to abide in the word of God. He said, then Jesus said to those Jews who believe, if you abide in my word, mm -hmm. and you are my disciples indeed if you do that, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Yes. Thank God for all of these people we like, but we got to know the truth. That's right. God want to bring us into a great place. Mm -hmm. Number six, and I'm almost done. Colossians 3, 16. Colossians 3.16 says, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly yes. with all wisdom, teaching and, admonish and admonishing one another. Yes. The word has to dwell in us, not just dwell in us, but dwell in us richly Amen. so that we can teach and admonish one another. Yes. Sister Gladys don't need to just know what I think. She needs to know what God said. Yes. Right. Amen. She don't come here to, to find out, uh, Latrell doesn't come here to find out what I think. They want to know what God says. Matter of fact, I don't even care what I think when I stand up here. That's why I spend so much time wanting to hear what God says. I, even what I read, I don't care if it's not the Bible. I want God to direct me to what I need to read so it can better enlighten me so I can help God's people. Amen. amen. Somebody say God help us. God help us. Last two. Psalms 119. Now that's a whole lot of verses. There's a whole lot of areas to Psalm 119. Yes. But this is Psalm 119, 105, verse 105, verse 130, and 133. Psalm 119, verse 105, verse 130, and verse 133. Matter of fact, these are my last two. So I'm going to just go to it. Psalms 1. 19. Everybody say, I love your word, oh God. I love your word, oh God. I'm going to say it again. I love your word, oh God. I love your word, oh God. Verse 105 of Psalm 119 says, Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. Mm -hmm. Verse 30 said, The unfolding of your words give me light. Yes. It gives understanding to the simple. My God. And 133 says, direct my footsteps.
step according to your word. Let no sin rule over me. Mm. Woo! My God. <laughs> that ain't but three verses. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Out of 119, tell somebody, that ain't but three verses. Out of Psalm 119. Psalm and let me tell you, it's got 176 oh. verses. Yes. Yes. I just gave you three. Your word is a lamp unto my feet, a light unto my path. The unfolding of your word gives me life. It gives me understanding. To, it gives understanding to the simple. Direct my footsteps according to your word. Let no sin rule over me. Yes. I pray that prayer. I don't want no sin ruling over me. That's right. Amen. I pray against temptation. Amen. Because yes. I know there's no temptation that is common to man that God will not deliver us from. Mm -hmm. But I don't want I I pray a defense mechanism. I say lead it, lead me not into temptation. Okay. And deliver me from evil. Mm -hmm. Come on, say, somebody said that's the grace dispensation. That's the grace dispensation of that prayer. Of that prayer. Jesus said, you don't even have to go there. He said, pray this. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from evil. My last scripture, Proverbs 4, 20. 4 and 20. Proverbs 4 and 20, and I'm going to read it. 20, 21, and 22. My son, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ears to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, for they are life to those who find them and help to the one to the whole body. Somebody said, God's word, God's word is light, is, light. is help, is, help. Is, life, is life, even to your whole body. Even to your whole body. For they are life to those who find them. And help to one's own body. Man, God's word will drive out sickness. God's word will drive out poverty. God's word will bring light to your whole body. Somebody just say, I love the word. I love the word. 